Okay, so the best way to defend in Boom Beach, I think, is to hide, be like clever about how you're gonna defend by hiding mines behind statues, and even things like doom cannons hiding behind statues and trees works best. We've got a defense here. I've got a few um, examples of what I'm talking about with a warrior attack early. Let's see what happens. So I've got a mine there, he spotted the mine. So just use the angle with the game haze to hide the actual items behind on that top corner. Damage ants really are uh, getting to work on the ROS on the tanks here. People underestimated, I think, the team had the strengths that they uh, hit at. I've actually got a boom cannon upgrade, unfortunately, but it still didn't seem to affect the uh, outcome on this one. Okay, so his medics are in trouble. Still in range of the rocket launchers here. There's no other real threat with that BC upgrading, so this is just ran out of GBE. Yeah, it looks like the rocket launchers are gonna get to work on him and that's it. Okay, so getting back to what I was talking about with defending, this is a good example of uh, the mines hiding behind statues. It makes a real difference. So here is clearing a little bit behind the HQ. The obvious one's up the front, I hit with the barrage. So all those statues in the middle actually have mines behind them. Max level. Okay, so he hasn't noticed and he's dropping it in. So I'm going to slow it down up here. So you can have a look at it in uh, half speed. So all these warriors... Bang! Absolutely torn to shreds. Now none of them are visible. Like there's a couple here that he's noticed, but you know, obviously thought, oh, that'll be alright. But the vast majority behind the statues are just tore him to shreds. It works well on tanks as well. You can have statues running up the side, and the tanks often flag and flag left or right. You can have statues up left or right or even behind trees, although trees sort of become a bit transparent, so statues I find are better, or even just weapons or buildings just hide in the top corner. So here's a hidden doom cannon. Now it doesn't look that hidden, but you'd be surprised, like when it's zoomed out, the red hides in with the statues, and this guy is just oblivious to it. It looks obvious when you look at it from like once I've pointed it out, but actually when you're in the heat of battle, it's not that obvious. This guy doesn't even realise the whole battle. He doesn't even notice it taking out half, you know, more than half his tanks. So his GBD, the big, you know, the big ticket items, the boom cannons and everything else. He lost a shock there. So there's a few traps up here, a few mines. Rocket launchers are getting to work on him. He still hasn't hit the DC, so here they're coming in range of the DC and it's hitting him. So he's just 
I think he's just short on that shock on the Doom Cannon. Because it's still hitting stuff. There's absolutely no idea it's there. Even though it's, you know, it seems in relatively plain sight. Hiding it behind statues actually makes a huge difference. I'd say, you know, three out of five players don't notice it. Seems quite obvious. It's also a lot, very effective at the side of the base where people would expect it. Or behind trees, obviously. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.